this new Omicron variant and politics, today President Biden urged Americans to not panic about the new COVID-19 variant and said that the United States is already making contingency plans with pharmaceutical companies if new vaccines are needed. The president said that the country would not go back to lockdowns to stop the spread of Omicron and said that he would lay out his strategy this Thursday for combating the pandemic over the winter. He again urged people to get vaccinated, get boosters and wear masks. Meanwhile, a U.S. travel ban took effect earlier today, blocking most visitors from eight southern African nations from entering the country. Also, this new variant has already started impacting stock market with fears of the Omicron becoming a dominant variant in the U.S. On this and much more, we sat down with ITV Go senior political commentator, veteran journalist Mr. Rohit Vyas. Here is Mr. Vyas on Omicron politics, economy and more. We're talking about the Omicron variant that has been found in South Africa and there are chances that it's already present in the United States because it's already there in Canada and other countries. Um, we're hearing news that the stock market has already started getting impacted by that. So my first question to you is, this is just news right now. They haven't even found exactly out what exactly this variant is doing. Why is the stock market already getting impacted and how bad can this get? Well, because the stock market always looks for a reason to be nervous, for one thing. Uh, you know, you have a, a bear market, you have a bull market. There's been a long bull run. And anything that seems, uh, that, that, that appears could apply the brakes to progress in the rise of stocks, in the rise, uh, in the progress of movement to uh, movement forward in the economy, etc., uh, would be seen as something to be uh, of concern. And so the moment uh, word broke from South Africa last week about this new variant and its uh, several mutations, about 50 mutations, yeah. which means uh, it could even compromise vaccines, they don't know that for sure, uh, it became a matter of huge concern uh, for the world economy not just for the world health system but the economy itself and therefore the stock market reacted the stock market is going to continue to react but uh, all this has proven is that we're going to have to in my opinion learn to live with covid for the long run just like flu it's something we should have seen once we saw variants coming out and i think most health experts i am not one of them but most health experts would agree with my assessment that we are now going to have to learn to live with this uh, in its various variants and, and so uh, concerns will be there right now, but once we start to learn how to deal with it as a human race, I think uh, all of this will be in the background. So I'm actually more optimistic. And as you said at the outset, we still don't know exactly the full extent of this. President Biden has said it's a matter of concern, but not a matter of panic, and he's absolutely right. As a matter of fact, the same South African doctor who discovered this mutation and uh, this variant and uh, revealed it, to the government of South Africa and then had the government of South Africa and in turn uh, warned the world about it, uh, says it doesn't appear, this doctor says she doesn't think it's that serious, it doesn't have serious uh, symptoms that uh, forces hospitalization of victims. Right. So that's the good part of this and I think there is uh, some reason to be optimistic at this point. If it spreads, we shouldn't be surprised because there are many unvaccinated people in our population here in the US as uh, is the case around the world. And so those who are unvaccinated will be the ones who will be infected and carry it. So, so that it makes sense to our audience, the, the biggest concern and fear of the stock market is what? The, um, a shutdown again? Yeah. Um, economy crashing again? What, and, and because of that, it's already getting affected. Yeah. All of How the does that make sense? All of the above. I mean, if there is, if you've got a variant that is serious in scope, okay, as we've had with the Delta variant and, and the, the pandemic itself, COVID-19, when it first came out. Came out. Um, you, if you have a serious situation like that where you have lockdowns, there's going to be a problem with the economy and therefore stocks will be directly affected. Now that's already begun in Europe. You have Austria, for instance, which is in total lockdown uh, at least for two weeks. We've uh, got Israel, which only today or yesterday announced that uh, they're going to be uh, uh, locking out uh, foreigners. Non-Israelis cannot enter the country for two weeks. All right. Um, you're seeing other countries in Europe beginning to impose uh, lockdowns. Uh, the Netherlands is another one. And once that begins and you have a chain reaction, obviously it's going to start to affect uh, the supply chain once again, yeah. which is still a problem. The ramifications of the supply chain uh, shake up 
and irregularities are consequential of what happened uh, with the beginnings of the pandemic last year in March of 2020, officially when the whole world uh, literally came to a standstill. So it's going to affect uh, everything. The fear of a lockdown, the lockdown itself, if it does occur and is imposed around the world, will directly affect the economy and therefore stocks will see a downward turn. Uh, the bears will rule once again.